Okay, um, I want to make this video, it's on the trend of some previous videos that I've made about the Les Majest situation in Thailand. Um, firstly, a disclaimer, some people will say that because I'm an outsider, I'm from the UK, I have no right to comment, it's not my business, it's um, an, an internal affair. You know, this is the same excuse that is always, always, always used for totalitarianism. And I think it's phony. I, I do respect sovereignty. Um, I know Thailand is an independent country. It has its, the right to make its own laws. But I believe that when laws are this barbaric, they need to be challenged by the international community. Why? Because we live in an interconnected world. So if Thailand does trade with other countries, it is right and justified that other countries ask and scrutinize uh, the situation in Thailand if for no other reason than the stability of trade. Um, right now, the situation in Thailand is very grave and it seems to be getting worse. To give a bit of context, Thailand is supposedly a constitutional monarchy ever since the Siamese Revolution of 1932. Um, but the reality is it it's that those are just words because it comes across very much like an absolute monarchy. The king is literally above criticism. He's revered as a god, certainly among Thai royalists. I'm not sure if that picture can be seen nationwide. I would also add that regarding my previous videos, I've had mixed responses. Of course, I've had the angry sort of nationalistic um, vitriol and even threats from Thai royalists. Um, seems to be all that they're capable of doing. But I've also had a lot of support and um, people who are thanking me for speaking out. Truth is, I haven't done very much. Um, I, I'm just saying what I think is obvious. And the truth is, there's Thai nationals who are much braver than me and, and others, journalists and so on, who have spoken up and taken great risk from it. Um, the Des Majest laws, who would just be Euro, used in Europe a very long time ago, are basically supposedly designed to protect the king and his heirs from criticism. And this is supposedly to protect... Uh, and stabilize the nation. Actually, in my view, it has the exact opposite effect because it's a totalitarian system. Um, and it's dangerous because any Thai can file Les Majesty charges against any other Thai, and foreigners aren't immune from it. Recently, the American ambassador, despite his supposed diplomatic immunity, was being investigated for violating Les Majest. All he done was criticize the laws in a speech. So he didn't even say anything about the king himself. Um, to provide a bit of context, the king is ailing at the moment. He's 88 years old. I believe that is one reason why the laws are getting even more draconian. Um, this has always existed, but it has definitely, definitely got worse in the last 10 years. And Thailand is heading down a very dark path. About 10 years ago, there were two or three cases a year. Now there's hundreds a year, literally hundreds of cases being filed a year. Five years ago, people were being sentenced to 15 years. Foreigners were in a better position because they could get a royal pardon. Um, but it's still disgraceful that anyone should be jailed for this reason. You know, jailed of rapists and drug addicts, drug dealers, I should say. Um, it's just abhorrent. Um, one of the most shocking cases of all occurred recently. A young man has been arrested for supposedly sharing an image of a king's dog. It was from a satirical point of view he also insulted the military junta um the military junta hasn't specified exactly what he has said but quite clearly 37 years for an opinion or ser sharing satire is utterly barbaric and if thai royalists don't like what i'm saying frankly i couldn't care less you know you people talk about being offended but you have no problem threatening and deeply offending anyone who has a different point of view. As far as I'm concerned, you're thugs. And uh, I I think the situation is grave. I believe that what should we should do, and I'm going to write to my foreign secretary, Philip Hammond, about this, is put pressure on the Thai embassy. Um, I'm not calling for sanctions, because very often sanctions hit the poorest the hardest. But I believe democratic countries should be speaking up on this recalling their Thai ambassadors and saying this is unacceptable. This is a brutal attack on basic free expression. It's getting out of hand. It's unacceptable. Um, 
I'll leave my comment section open because I believe in free expression. But if you think that you can threaten me, you can go and fuck yourself. Because believe me, I will bite back. And I'm making this video in the UK, so I'm not violating any of your laws. Oh, and one last thing to ties who do speak out. You have my utmost respect. Please stay strong. Please stay brave.